Hello guys, hope you all are doing great and the topic of today's video is how to use NVIDIA complete NVIDIA tutorial. So here we are on NVIDIA.io. Basically NVIDIA is an online video editor which provides us the opportunity to create videos from text. So now we are on the main page here, we can find a lot of information. But in order to get started, we just simply need to click on sign up if you are new to this service or we can click on log in to log in to our account. Basically, we can continue with Gmail, Facebook or create an account. So I'm going to log in with my Google account. As for me, this is definitely the easiest variant. And in a few seconds, we'll come to this page here. From this page, we can easily interact with all the projects we have, basically with recent projects. We can also create new video. We have four options, templates, AI, text to video, stock media and editor. So also we can interact with our projects. We can click on more. We can go to editing, duplicating, collaborating or basically deleting these projects. Also the same thing on the my projects area where we can find more of the projects. And uh, from this page, we have the option to delete. As you can see, we can just simply click on more and then just click on delete. We can find deleted projects in trash still, but we can also uh, delete them even from here. So let's try to create a video from text. So I'm going to use this feature here. Let's click on plus and we'll come to the page where we need to choose uh, the template we are going to use. So in my case, I have a text, an article about the artificial intelligence. So I need to find something related to this stuff here. And um, basically, it depends on your article. If you're going to write about dogs, you can easily use this one here, about sport, this one here. So they have a lot of different templates, basically. In my case, I want to find something suitable as for me. And I think I'm going to use this template here. So let's click. And from this page here, we can find the option to uh, change the format from landscape to square to portrait. It depends on your aim. So if you want to create, for example, for TikTok or for Instagram, you need to switch format. So in my case, I'm going to create video for YouTube. Let it be the horizontal format. Let's click on use template. And here we need to paste the script we need to write or we can ask AI to write your script. If you click here, we just only need to describe the script you want to generate. But honestly, I've already generated the script with chat GPT. So I'm just going to click and paste it right up here. So just two articles, I think it's enough for the example. But in our case, basically, it's enough. Okay, let's click on create sense. And now we have the message that we need to rearrange text. So hey, that's too much text for one sign. Do you want us to rearrange it for you? Let's click on yes. So it will automatically divide some uh, sentences into different sense, it will be easier to create a uh, video basically. And now all we need to do is just to click on create sense one more in the bottom of the screen. And now the basically generating of sense began. So now all we need to do is just to wait until everything is done. It may take a little time. It depends on the basically the size of our text and also the capacity of NVIDIA servers. So if they have a lot of users at one moment, it may take much more time. So now let's only wait for a little, I'll pause video. So in a few minutes, we'll come to this page here. As you can see, the interface has changed for a little. Now in the right side, we have the player where we can view all the sounds. Basically, they have um, the template related uh, videos here and also animated some parts and some details. As you can see, we can view how will it look like, but now it's rendering for a little. In the left side, we can find all the sands we are going to interact with. So we can find the first sand and the text inside the second, the third and so on. So all we can do is just to duplicate, delete, or basically we can uh, split one sand into two different sands if it's necessary. If you have, for example, too much text on one sand here. On the uploads area in the left side, we can upload our own media. For example, if you want to change background or an additional video inside of this sand here, we can easily upload it and then just change if it's necessary.
The same thing in videos, we can find the stock footages we can easily use as an additional part of the sun. So we can simply change the background for this video here, edit somewhere in the frame and so on. On the images, uh, we can find stock images, we can interact in the same way as with like basically videos. And the music, we have a lot of different categories here of non-copyright music, so we can easily use it for free. We have like 2000 here, 5, 7000, 7, 2, 4 and so on. Also, we can divide them into different genres or use some effects here. On the text area, we can find a lot of different templates of text. Some of them are just simple, some of them are animated. But you need to understand that on this sing every single sand there is a text, which is like according to this sand text. But we can also add some additional if it's necessary. So they're also like divided into different categories here, like minimalist, typography and so on. We also have the branding area where we can add our logo if you want to add the logo here and the elements where we can add stickers, shapes, overlays, masks and so on. And we can still change the template if it's necessary. So in the templates area we can choose something to change the template. Also what is interesting that in the top of the screen we have the option to switch between different to use. So now we have the storyboard. We can also go to editor basically to find the timeline in the bottom of the screen. And also on the every single scene now we can view all the elements in the right side. So we have the round line, artificial intelligence, basically text, the circles overlay, light leaks overlay, gradient overlay and media. And we can easily interact with every single element here. So we can click and then we can find the properties here. We can delete, we can remove. If you click somewhere here, we can see that sometimes they could be locked. So we need to unlock them here. And now we can easily click. And for example, we can delete. And now as you can see, uh, the background was successfully deleted. So in this case, every single element has its own properties. For example, for this stuff here, we can find the option to change the color, flip, add the effects, change the position, add the animation and so on. For this round line, for example, we also have the same thing. For the text, we can uh, click on edit to edit the text. We can change the font, change the size, make it bold, italic, underline, change the text color, change the position, spacing, alignment and so on. So there are a lot of options we can do. And we also have the option to undo or redo some options in the right top corner here. So undo and redo. In this case, we can easily switch between different um, different sense and as for me it's much easier to interact with uh, the whole video through the editor view so I think it will be easier as for you the same. Uh, we can also find the music here so we can just simply click and if we need we can even de delete this music and then just go to music area find some angry for example category video and then just add it right up here. Moreover, we can add new sounds, we can voice over and we can manage all the layers. So for example, for this sound here, we can view how will it look like. So we can find a lot of layers inside. If you want to add the voiceover, all we need to do is just to click on um, voiceover. And as you can see, we have four options. We can use automated text to speech feature, import from uploads, upload our own file and record our voice on the website. So if you click on automated text to speech, we can find the type realistic or legacy, uh, change the language here. Like we have a lot of accents, Australian, British, Canadian, French, German, Hindi, Italian, Japanese, Korean, and so on. And also we can change the voice, John, Sophie, Nathan, Madison, Eva, Avery, Brooklyn, Maxwell and Jack. And if you click on generate voiceover, the process will begin. And in a few seconds, all the voiceover will be successfully generated. So these are the main features of how can we interact with NVIDIA.io. And if you're going to 
if you want to share our project, we can just simply click on share. And as you can see now, we can invite our team to join us to editing. And if you want to export, unfortunately, we need to buy the paid plan. I think that um, it's reasonable. So we have a lot of features. As you can see, we can export into two different qualities. And if you're going to discover the paid plan, we can find that if you're going to pay early, we'll pay $15 per month for business plan and $30 per month for the unlimited. So we can find all the differences here. But if you're going to pay monthly, you will have to pay twice more. So $30 for business and $6 for unlimited. As for me, it's much easier to buy the early plan. So this is a way of how can we use and basically create videos in nvidia.io online video editor. Hope this video helped you out. Please leave a like, comment and subscribe. I wish you a very good day. Goodbye.